Hey, hey, hey! Good morning, everybody. It's nice to see you all here today. We're going to be playing some Star Wars The Old Republic today. I know this is always a shock to you guys. This game that we play literally every morning, every day, every weekday, 8 to 10 a.m. Pacific. Um, I'm very sorry about the un uh, un unexpected lack of stream yesterday. So I guess not every morning. Can't quite say that anymore. But uh, yesterday, I logged into my computer. Or rather, I didn't because I booted it up. And the hard drive had failed, and I was like, oh no, that's, uh, that's not a good thing. Um, I'm very lucky though, Mr. Satarista is very, um, skilled and knowledgeable and experienced at looking into computers and building computers and stuff like that, and he was able to help me figure out what was wrong with it. You guys ready for the story? Oh my goodness. So, when we booted up the computer, it said something was wrong with a hard drive. And I was like, oh no, that's a, that's a bad thing. Imminent hard drive failure. That's a, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's not like a, just refresh the page kind of problem there. Um, hoo, 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 hoo. so, um, what did, what did we do? He ran some diagnostics and he was telling me like, what do you have stored on there? Yeah, all hail Lord Mr. Sodrisa indeed on this one. He was like, what do you have stored on there? And I was like, I don't know. Because I have my main computer drive, my, my C, my C? My C drive. Um, yeah, just refresh your hard drive, exactly, right? Um, I have my C drive that has my games and, and my computer. And then I have my videos on my V drive, you know? <laughs> v for V drive for videos. And then I couldn't think of what would be on this, um, this mysterious other third drive. I was like, I don't have anything else on my computer. And so it turns out when Mr. Sotorista built my computer, I don't know if, can I actually show you guys? You guys are going to see my messy, messy craft shelf. Hang on. Can you guys see it? Mm. Oh, oh, there it is. Do you see? Oh! <laughs> there it is. Right there. It's glowing. It's glowing. When Mr. Sotorista built my computer, what he did is um, he had an older hard drive just kind of lying around. It was 100 gigabytes. And he created a shared pool of storage so that the computer, he built it wrong as a joke, <laughs> just as a little tease. He took the new hard drive for videos and this 100 gigabyte hard drive that was just kind of lying around and he basically put them together in the software of the computer. However, this other hard drive is like 10 years old at this point. We're not entirely sure what happened. We can't figure out if it physically filled up and that made it cranky or if it was just freaking old and it died. Um, but yeah, luckily he was able to figure out how to get to the boot manager for me, which I didn't quite, uh, yeah, 100 gigabyte, that's a USB stick for these days, right? Isn't that funny? Um, so now, computer's running, running again. Um, I'm very grateful because we actually bought this hard drive. Um, one of our lovely friends, her name is uh, Annie, she helped purchase and research. She paid for half and she helped me research it, which was more important um, than anything else because I had no idea what to get. But we bought this when we were backing up Tor Fashion because I didn't have enough room for that on my computer. And so I had this available and ready to go to help uh, back up everything important while we were trying to figure out what the hell to do with this poor little computer. So I'm super excited. Yeah, so Silky here is saying, um, Spinrite can restore it if it's in trouble. Yeah, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jedites has raided them. And I thought that was like a Twitch or Sotor reference. I didn't realize that's a computer, a computer term. Possibly a raid failure. I, what does raid mean? I don't think I've heard that term before, but it seems like at least two of you know what that is. So yeah, so. We're in good shape. Obviously, I'm online again. I'm in game. Um, I'm able to stream. Um, and over the weekend, we're going to basically physically uninstall that extra hard drive. So apparently, like, one in every, like, 300 files I had happened to be on there. When I was copying stuff over, it was like, I don't know where this file is. It doesn't actually exist. And I was like, okay, just fine. Not a problem. Jessa says, uh, my hubby works with computers. I know stuff through him. Ah, very cool. Very cool. Good thing it didn't happen on Friday. Oh my gosh, lovers of Twi'leks. <sighs> ah, I was trying to be a good, smart, 
human being and not freak out about that possibility. I'm really glad it's fixed, so should be fun. Should be fun. Oh my gosh, Galdorn. <laughs> Restaurant array of independent discs. I laughed so hard when I saw that. Redundant array of independent discs. That that doesn't mean anything to me. There's a raid button on your channel. Right. I don't I don't think that's quite the raid we're looking for today. Okay, so thank you for listening to my little news. Um, I have some other good news and some bad news. Um, the other good news is yesterday was the first day that I got my sleeping back on track in uh, weeks. I'd been doing very poorly and it was the first day that I felt like happy and healthy in a while. And the bad news is last night my sleep schedule got absolutely murked again. No photo. Ah, Goose. Goose, thank you very much. Cheers to you. Thanks for using your Amazon Prime there. All right, so we're going to go over the news. And um, I, I was having trouble deciding what to play today, but I think I've decided. I think I'm going to go check out some Osis dailies, but in a way that I haven't gotten to do before, which I'm quite excited about. And then we'll go through and answer some of those uh, questions and stuff that you guys have in chat, in both YouTube and Twitch. And hey, everybody. Hi. I see you. Hi. Um, we did have uh, Nime. N Nime, Nime, Nim. Nice to see you for the first time. All right, so it looks like a uh, sale of the day is the creature companion Vorclaw. Um, I don't really have much to say about this guy other than he's really big. I don't know why you would buy him as a companion. Hey, Matego. Matego says, how are the hard drives? Well, one of them is, but it's not an important one, so we're good to go. The Operation Decoration Drop Contest um, is still running. I have it up for a few more days. If you're running any operations today, tomorrow, or the day after, 11, 12, 13, I would really love if you go to soterisa.com slash events and read the quick rules about the contest because basically we're looking to find out what decorations drop from which operations from which bosses in which modes. So basically you just take a very specific type of screenshot. So uh, a picture of the decoration in the other tab while you're near the boss and you'll be entered to win a contest um yeah uh we have like 100 we have what was it like a thousand cartel no 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 no. Four thousand five hundred cartel coins total to give away and it's broken up into 10 prizes so your chances of actually being able to win are pretty pretty decent actually um and more importantly you'll be uh contributing towards a project that all players can take advantage of which is information about where to get operation decoration drops update 7.5 is the one we're most excited about um or rather it's the next one coming up um and that will be having more information coming this sometime this month we don't have details on the when but they said sometime in april they'll be doing the developer live stream i'm guessing that'll be uh later in the month because they haven't really posted anything about it since and we're april 11 yes we are um Update 7.4.1 is the one before that, the one that's currently out right now, and that includes Date Night, Copera Strongholds, Galactic Season 6, and information about all of that on Satrisa.com. Oh, hey! Uh, speaking of stuff coming up, tomorrow is the big day! Woo, woo, woo. Um, this will be uh, more information on Satrisa.com slash events, um, and this is for my little birthday party. Actually, let's go, let's go, let's go to that. So Teresa.com slash events. When I was booting up the computer after fixing it, um, my streaming software told me that this music was missing and I was like, oh, that's so terribly sad. Made sure to fix it. Uh, T1 says, as a shameless night owl, I have yet to experience a sleep schedule. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I have been a night owl lately, but not necessarily by choice. <laughs> Zach says, the good news is my sleep is good now. The bad news is I lied. The sleep is bad now. Yeah, at least I'm better off. I'm better off than I was previously. I at least got some proper one night sleep sometime. <laughs> anyway, so just slash events and the birthday event is starting tomorrow at normal stream time unfortunately it is on a friday and not on a weekend sorry um it is it's going to be running 8 a.m so like right around now for about four hours give or take there's going to be a bunch of different events they're all on sotrisa.com events um we're going to be doing a spa day in game 
Just a fun little silly event. Come dress up and we'll be going around and doing the achievement to get the bringing down the house achievement for anyone who wants it where you have at least 50 other people in your stronghold at once. Um, Helle was kind of, our player Helle, uh, was kind enough to remind me that not all strongholds can fit 50 people. So make sure if you wanted to do that to have a stronghold unlock that can hold 50 people. So like Yavin, Alderaan, Tatooine, any one of those ones. Um, uh, I should actually double check. So Teresa.com slash decorations. I have a little comparison chart here. Oh, even Coruscant can. So the only one that can't is Umbara, the two fleet strongholds, and apparently Manon. Manon's little baby. And Meksha can't. So any of the smaller ones don't fit. But you should be good otherwise. Even the Coruscant stronghold is just fine. Uh, once it's fully unlocked. Um, so what else is there going to be? There's Spa Day. There's a fan project launch. For the, for those of you who have been following stream, you probably already know what it is. But it still should be fun to go through and celebrate it launching. <laughs> Not much of a secret. I'm very bad at secrets. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, and last is going to be a Sith fashion show uh, on Starforge server Imperial side. Um, come show off your character. Your coolest Sith character. They gotta be dressed like a Sith. Come on. They can't They can't be a bounty hunter or an Imperial agent. Get, get out of here. Or, well, they can be, but they have to be dressed like a Sith. That's the rules. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Except I did for this contest. What else is going on in Star Wars The Old Republic? Um, so there's the birthday bash. The bounty event is coming up starting tomorrow. So if you're waiting for it to come around, it will be starting. Oh, no. Sorry. April 16th. April 16th, so next week. Uh, PvP Season Season 5 is currently running, and I'm having some very mixed feelings about PvP right now. Um, so today I was trying to decide what to do, and I was like, oh, PvP would be really fun to do. But, because I'm already kind of behind by like two weeks on my track, and I'm... Uh, let's take a look at where I am on the track in the background. I'm at level 8. Unless I played really, really hard, I don't think I would make it to uh, level 25. There's just a little over a month left. So I couldn't, I couldn't, like, effectivity-wise, I, I didn't feel like it made sense for me to PvP today. Because I'd be going up the track, but I'll probably get to, like, level 15 and stop. But I can also get that just by paying credits. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a really reasonable reason I should bother PvP and compare it to other content in terms of rewards and effectivity and stuff like that. Yeah, I'd have to be doing 1,000 points per week, and that's quite quite hard with how I play. Like, I like to do the war zones only, so it's, it's reasonable for me to shoot for 500 if I have at least two PvP days to play per week. But uh, beyond that, it's, like, really rough for me. You finished all the PvP achievements last night, Rogue? Oh, congratulations. So you got um, the fun little title. What was it? Batten down the hatches? Um, Sunjammer says sleep is overrated. Napping is where it's at. Nap like a, nap like a champ. Sunjammer. That's what started this whole mess. I was uh, I was uh, napping too much and that was that's what I was trying to fix and I made it even worse. Oh, terrible. Terrible. Benji says, happy birthday tomorrow, right? Just making sure. Yep, tomorrow is the birthday event. Confirmed. Yeah. If you can fight Valid War Zones, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, that's... And that's where I was getting stuck. That's where I was getting stuck. And having weird feelings about it. Because I really enjoy PvP. Like, when I'm playing it, I'm having fun. But my, like, motivation to queue up in the first place is very rewards-based. And I don't want to feel like I'm wasting my time. But it's fun! So, how is it wasting my time if it feels fun? It's like the opposite of grinding. Which is very effective, but not always necessarily fun. Shouldn't fun be more... But should fun be more than effective? Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, so, it's just a kind of interesting... Some interesting thoughts about gaming. Um, and... Especially MMOs. I feel that way when I play solo games sometimes. When I feel like I don't have enough time to do something specific. Montego says, what if I mailed you chocolate if you could up for PvP enough? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Chocolate-based incentives. Sign me up. <laughs> um, Galactic Season Season 6 is uh, currently running. That one I've been playing 
just fine and enjoying on a more casual basis, especially because you have so many options. Um, you really can jump around with what you play. So I've been able to keep up with Galactic Seasons both effectively and funly. <laughs> and I'm excited because my guild actually does a weekly Thursday event uh, for Galactic Seasons um, that I really enjoy. Um, so I'll be uh, doing that, joining my friends there. Definitely understand the brain being weird about motivation to do things. <laughs> oh, Montego. Um, speaking of which, me and Montego are going to a cool event coming up in May, early May. I don't remember. I have it on the calendar. Um, but we're actually going to Disneyland for the Star Wars night. Um, he's going to fly over and we're going to go. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see what else is going on in the news. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They uh, they posted this. They said, uh, for those of you who are in Australia or in the Asia Pacific 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 region or who are playing on the Shea Vizsla server or who like to play on multiple servers just in general, um, the community manager said, we are extending the cutoff date for the 16 free transfers to the Shea Vizsla server to April 14th so that players have the whole weekend to process transfers if they have not yet already. As a reminder, subscribers have until June 10th to take advantage of the 50% off discount on tra transfers to Shea Vizsla server. Asia Pacific with Sean Connery, that's right. I thought that was nice. It was a very thoughtful gesture to make sure it covered the weekend. Um, however, I think most people have transferred at least one character by now, which is kind of the important thing who wanted to do so. And um, so if there's any other characters that you want to transfer, any last minute wealth you wanted to bring over to the Asia Pacific, oh my God, Asia Pacific server, um, now's the time to do it. Um, and uh, I was trying really hard to think if I wanted to, because like it's the last chance to do so. And I think I've decided I don't want to transfer any characters over. I wish I could transfer some wealth, some credits, but I did not want to transfer my legacy. So I decided to just leave it alone. And if I play on that server, I play on that server, you know? All right, let's see, anything else in the news? I think that was it. Oh, I need to go update the Galactic Seasons page with the new objectives. Um, there's a, lots of pretty decent mix of objectives this week if you're looking to play Galactic Seasons, by the way. So uh, together we did Nightmare Pilgrim. That one's probably a hard one, but there's there's probably going to be groups doing it. We ran into like two other groups doing it just while we were running it um, on Tuesday. Uh, however, there's liabilities of Darshada, which you can go do solo or with a group if you really want to. There's two Galactic Starfighter ones. There's go run quests with a companion on a healer role. Uh, and you can go do quests on Susie One Day, Ilum Ayakoth, or Zakul. Uh, there is chapter two in veteran mode. There is run some flashpoints. I thought I heard my phone. I thought I heard a ringing in the background. I'm gonna go double check. You guys be good. Be good. Be good. going crazy you're fine you guys don't have to be good anymore you can cause trouble now night mod says i'm too lazy to transfer servers because i don't want to rebuy all them strongholds and the decor oh that's funny i mean yeah don't bother otherwise i guess um and about that's about it i think for the news oh where are my glasses go I feel blind here we go doesn't it ask you what legacy to sync to once you transfer not that I know of. I mean, it asks you which character you're transferring over, but your legacy just kind of inherently comes with you. All right, so what was I going to go check out today? So in Galactic Seasons, and this is not why I wanted to run it. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. What, what, what? what were the the locations you could go to? CZ198, Ilum, Iocath, or Zakul. So if I was trying to be efficient today, I could go run some Iocath or, or uh, some CZ198. Um, and what's really interesting 
is that they added something in the most recent update that I've been kind of investigating, I guess you could say. And I want to go run Osis because there is a decoration that I'm trying to get that requires you to run Osis just a kind of kind of whole bunch of times. And a lot of people got the achievement back when Osis first came out, and there's lots of people running it, and that was like the main thing to do. Kind of like how Kesson's Landing is the newest one right now. Where is Osis? I think it's under Dailies. Yeah, here we go. Um, and the one I'm trying to get is this one, Heroic Missions. And completing the patrols, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so complete, what is that? 25 heroic missions and complete the patrol, which is, I think, five quests. Uh, but that one I have to do so many times still. I still have like 67 days worth. Like that's, that's a lot. I don't want to run that much. Maybe I'll go just work on heroics and cry. Just a little bit, it's fine. Um, but what's interesting is that you can now go run those daily areas even if you are not caught up on the story. So on this character, I am literally on the very first quest of the game. I'm level 76. I used a character boost token that boosts you up to level 70 or so. Um, but I never went and did my class quest. I mainly made this character because I wanted to learn how to play the shadow well. Um, and that's why I created it with the, with the token. Each mission counts as one for patrol. So each daily set completed is like five or six. Wait, really? I can just wait. Wait a second here. So I, I don't have to run 67 days. I have to run 67 quests. Skull? Question mark? That's not what the achievement reads like. But if that's true, I'd be very happy. <laughs> I've got 23 out of 90 complete patrol osis. Yes, if I remember correctly. If so, I'm going to be very excited. We'll test it out for sure. So what's interesting is this character is not caught up on the story. And before update 7.3, you can only do certain daily areas once you are caught up in the story. So that included Onderon, Runat, Kesson's Landing, Osis, Yavin 4, Makeb, Orkon. All of those ones right there. Um, and those are, are all very specifically story related. And uh, was there any, any others? Like, Iocath, Iocath too. So I was able to go and actually pick this quest up even though I'm not caught up in the story. So I can go around the daily areas, which is really neat. Really neat because now you get more choice of what character you actually want to run on. So I decided I can kind of double dip my activities this week and go check out Osis on this character who is level 76 and I don't get to play very often and I don't have conquest on so far So I'm gonna head over to Osis and see what that's like. I think it's like a level 70 planet I have trouble remembering off the top of my head So now that I'm a little caught up with the news, I'm gonna go catch up with the comments. Let's start with YouTube Petra Puff says I'm from Brazil as well we have a BR guild called Brazookas. Hey, awesome. Thanks for sharing. Hi, once again, all the way from California. Mad Luigi says, hello, I'm from Brazil. Oh, that's why you're saying that. That's awesome. Uh, I'm a beginner in Sotor and I love the content on your channel. Hey, 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 Mad Luigi. I'm glad you're able to find the content useful. Yeah, awesome. Let's see, so let's just, I guess I would just pick up all the dailies here. That'd be the efficient way to do it, right? Don't need these two quests. <gasps> oh, we have a minor problem though. Mmm, we've sound, found some spicy meatballs. The patrol missions are the ones on the data pads at each of the fast travel spawn areas. So I thought, I thought I was under the impression that the daily patrol missions is, let me actually log into a character who's caught up in the story. 
what I think happening right now is I think I'm missing NPCs because I'm not caught up in the story. There's supposed to be like four or five NPCs standing here that I can talk to from my memory. Clue says, do you want to try me sharing them? <gasps> Interesting, yeah, Clueless. But let me let me double check on my main character first. Your Dennis says, so Teresa, I have to study so I can't actively watch the stream, but I wanted to say thank you for giving everything you do. Oh, you're welcome. Ah, why'd you delete your comment? Good luck going to study. Thanks so much for leaving uh, the nice message. Ah, Ben Green posted earlier on YouTube. I'm looking to join RP Guild. Sorry if you, uh, you, you may not be here anymore. Uh, but I don't know much of the Old Republic lore. Any YouTube channel suggestions to learn some of the Old Republic lore? And I saw you, I saw you post that earlier. And I was like, you know what? I don't really, can't really think of any specific lore catch up or anything like that, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of people just role play from their experience with the class story. So Ben Green, if you're still here, uh, I guess my big question to you is where are you at in the story? Where are you at in the story so far? Okay, I'm heading to I'm heading to Osis, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go there. Make sure I'm not going crazy before I start yelling about missing NPCs. <laughs> in the story, the farms were attacked, and I noticed the farms on the fire mission was missing as well as those NPCs. Interesting. Uh, I did see the firestorm quest on that other character. Nisasu says, computer is fixed, question mark. Yup. <gasps> Look at this. Interesting. So this is what I thought the patrol missions were. Where are they? Daily patrol osis. Complete five daily missions. Zero out of five. But we can always go test and see if the, the daily quest maybe count regardless. If so, that would be cool. I don't necessarily need the weekly. Ah, oh, Rogue's so nice. Rogue just posted their their suggestion for a route. For a 10 minute route. So I won't be able to do it in 10 minutes because I'm slow. But I might be able to do it faster than normal, yeah. How does the fitted weapons pack login wor reward work for tomorrow? Make the stick? Great question. No idea. Do I have it open? Is it uh, on mine? Let's see. Uh, it's this button. Yeah, here we go. Login rewards? <gasps> yeah, mine will start tomorrow, right? Oh, spicy chicken. Oh, I'm on the last day of my calendar, so I don't know I don't know what calendar will be next. Hopefully it will be the new one, and I guess we'll find out more then, right? I have like no more information about Mick apart from what they posted. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, a Killigan suggests uh, Star Wars Central has some lore on it. Uh, ben Green says I'm still in Chapter 1 on the Bounty Hunter. Okay, cool. So you're very, very fresh to the game. And if you aren't uh, familiar with Old Republic lore, you're going to be like a little lost when you jump into role-playing, right? Okay, so the great news is uh, Ben Green, second important question. I know there's a bit of a delay between YouTube and uh, uh, me chatting to you, but second important question. Have you seen the Star Wars movies? Like the older ones even, like not, doesn't even have to be any of the newer ones. Have you seen the Star Wars movies and do you know who Boba Fett is? Cause if you're, if you're there, you're in a good spot for role play. <laughs> if you haven't seen the movies and you haven't played the game much, you're gonna, you're gonna need a lot of familiarizing if you wanna, if you wanna do things uh, role play happy, you know? Not that you have to do the role play happy, it's fine. Candor's Ordo is better than Boba Fett. Excuse me. Okay, so let's try and follow Rogue's little speedrun route. Uh, Rogue says, go do explosive intervention first. Do I have that quest? Yes, I do. That's collapsed tunnels. Uh, oh, I don't even have. <gasps> wow. Wait, why are you inviting me to a group? Leave me alone. Let me live my life at my slow solo pace. <laughs> Thank you though, if you're inviting me to go do quests. Oh wait, was that Clueless? I'm an idiot. Sorry. Try again. 
That was probably Clueless, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, okay, hang on, where's the taxi? Clueless, if that was you, please feel free to reinvite me. I'm gonna think dong. Pay attention. Are those migraine glasses? Asks Ally. Uh, Ally, um, sort of. There's no such thing as migraine glasses. There's only cry. Um, but I was, was I am indeed trying them out for migraines. Um, but I'm more using them to try and reduce eye strain to see if it helps. There's uh, thanks for trying. It's grayed out. Okay, well it was good. It was it was a good good idea to check. I was uh, very curious. Okay, let's go do explosive blah blah. Not explosive conflict, but explosive blah blah. Thanks a bunch for uh, trying that out though. I guess we've got our answer there, huh? Ba -da -da. This character is wearing level 70 armor, but I think it's fine because this planet is level 70. Clue says, good luck with the dailies. Thank you. You think you wasted a master's datacron? <gasps> Why? What do you think you did? What was your plan? And what did you actually do? Go there and kill random moths, which will sometimes drop reputation tokens. Oh my gosh, that's that's not what I need. <gasps> oh, is there? Sorry, sorry. It was a response to a question. Is there a way to get runic reputation? Ask Kappa without doing the story. Right, random enemies might drop reputation, but in general, no, because you can't pick up those. Oh, wait, wait. You might be able to now, or you might be able to after the next update. They're kind of catching them all up. Yes, on this character, I haven't done the story, and I can go pick help up the me, daily everyone, area runic quests. So you there you go. Me, yeah, you can go run the you can go run the dailies now. And this is a very new thing. This is update seven point four point one. Hey, Hankins! Hankins says yay! Thank you so much, Hankins, for, for supporting the project. What's your favorite cookie? Oh my god. I don't know if that was that was in 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 response to anything, but I really 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 like chocolate chip cookies, like really a lot. Like just plain chocolate chip cookies, nothing. Also, um, those. Oh wait wait wait, I want to check near the up there and see if the the quest is up there that you can normally pick up. There's there's like some little floating droids that you can sometimes pick up. I don't see anybody here, but I don't remember which locations have one. Okay, so. Explosive intervention. What are we doing? Oh, we're blowing up the tunnels. Got it. <laughs> Though there are some cookies. They are sold by Girl Scouts, but Aldi has a really good, um, like, cheaper alternative. I don't know what they're called. They have a weird name. They have a weird name, and they're called something different in Canada. They are. Oh, I think I have to kill this guy. How would I just kill him anyway? And if I'm not supposed to kill him, well, here we are. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm, I'm a shadow infiltration character, but I don't have my keybinds set up like how I normally have them. So I'm like a little out of sorts. Interesting. But it looks like I can still find my glowy bits, luckily. They're a cookie. They're a cookie that has coconut, caramel, and a ton of chocolate. Does anyone know what those are called? They're some type of Girl Scout cookie. And they are really, 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 really good. <laughs> really, really, really good. Let's see. I think it's something like that. And then is this spin around in a circle? Oh, this is, this is icy. I see. I see. Something like that. I think it's close to this. Might be in a slightly wrong order, but that's okay. So Samoas, Samoas, yeah, there you go. That's why I was like, they have a they have a strange name. It's not. You think they would be called coconut chocolate caramel cookies, but they're not. You think they would be called addiction cookies? They are not. They are not. Shelby knows what they're called. I like that. Oh my gosh. Let's kill it together. Oh no! <laughs> I'm some, for some reason, I'm in the PvP instance and I have no idea why. Could not even tell you. I was like, look at Imperial. 
Uh, yes, uh, Girl Scouts pedal addiction. It's true. But you can go to Aldi and get it cheaper. It's fine. It's fine. I believe in you guys. Save your money. Caramel Delights. Okay, okay, okay. I thought there was a different name for them. I'm glad to hear that they do have a, a lovely caramel related name. Because, oh my gosh, they're so good. But, 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 those are not my favorite cookie because after I eat like three of those, I, I pretty much want to barf. They're, they're so, so much. You've been eating do -si dos the peanut butter ones? Those ones are very tasty too. Oh, and then, and then, oh my gosh. The mint cookies. Those ones, someone showed me a trick that you can put the mint cookies in the freezer and, oh. Why are we talking about cookies? This is horrible. I love them so much. But, you know, they're not exactly healthy for you. <laughs> um, but I'm so sorry, Girl Scouts. I'm not a fan of the shrinkflation, so I'm just gonna keep shopping at Aldi. Why would we not talk about cookies? Because we have more important things to talk about, like... Chocolate. We have more important things to talk about, like... What is this little cave? Oh, that's a phased area. Oh, interesting. I can barely see it because of the glasses. <laughs> um, I, Mr. Soterista is so nice. His mom, when I went to go visit them, had the chocolate Cadbury eggs, the hard shell ones, the baby mini eggs. And I really like those. And I ate like half the ones she set out on the table for, for Easter. And she was telling uh, Mr. My husband, Mr. Soterista, Oh, you should go buy, you should go buy your wife some. They're, they're at Target. They're on sale. So he did, because he's a sweetie. And then when he be went back the other day, they were 49 cents per bag. And he bought me like the last three bags that were there. I was like, ah! so sweet. Matic says, will the birthday stronghold rating be bound to your server? Yes, unfortunately, we only are going to be on one server. It's really, really too difficult to, uh, to swap around, if that makes sense, uh, between servers. Did I? Apparently I have more caves to destroy, but I have trouble finding them, I think. Mostly because I'm a bit derp. But I know they respawn, so even if I can't find one, eventually we'll, uh, we'll get to it. And this is why I can't do it in 10 minutes. Do you have cookie stores like Crumple Cookies or Crave Cookies? Do we? Are those, are those California things? I don't think I've seen cookie store around. I feel like if you went to a store that just sold cookies, the cookie would be like $10, wouldn't it? <laughs> Sugar cookies with icing, no! Those are the worst type of cookie. Just joking, all cookies are delicioso. But no, straight up plain chocolate chip cookie. Oh, mmm. Uh, BP Phantom says, Holy Shakes, Sweet Jesus, and Mr. Puffs are great around here. I'm guessing those are cookie stores? They don't sound like cookie stores to me. They sound like they're selling a little something something else. For, uh, recreational activities. There are a lot of cookie stores that popped up here in Utah. Yeah, the cookies are usually 2 to $3 each. Oh, dang. No, I can afford a 2 to $3 cookie if it's really good. Crumble is an awesome cookie store. Freshly baked. Mmm, cookie. Oh, I can't find any more caves. I feel like there's got to be more than four total, right? There's none over on this side, I don't think. I think all the caves are on the other side. Rogue's probably just watching me go and like shaking his head like, what, what was this efficiency idea going on here? Mario Backman over on YouTube says, uh, hello there. I was thinking on coming back to the game. How is the population doing? Hey there, Mario. I'm gonna link you something in chat so you can check out the population. Um, because I have some numbers up on this page that I'm gonna link for you. In my opinion, population's fine for any activities that you want to do. I haven't really been having any trouble for a long time now. We have, uh, oh, Cruising PC Vet says we have... Crumble and Crave here in Florida. I love delivering them for DoorDash. Can you imagine ordering a cookie through DoorDash though? I uh, I was considering ordering from DoorDash last night as a special treat to myself for finally getting my sleep schedule on schedule. But the fees, the delivery fee, the service fee, and the California benefits fee were 20 bucks <laughs> to order some sushi. So I ended up not. 
I was just like, dang, the fees end up being more than the actual meal. So I ended up just skipping. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Sorry, Carlos. I'm not contributing towards your livelihood. But I can't imagine paying like 10 bucks in fees just to order a cookie. But I would love that. Oh my gosh. I have such a sweet tooth sometimes. Okay, I didn't find any caves over here at all. So I think I'm just very slowly making my way around very inefficiently. But uh, I'll get there eventually. It's fine. I'll... Oh, boy. It's not fine. Oh, man. Oh, what did I do? That, that area up there with all the cages? That was actually a daily too. And I just missed it because I was trying to find only the caves. Us. Pretty sure at this point it probably would have been faster to just quick travel back but i really want to see if there's any other caves uh poking around this area don't think there is i think i'm just headed towards the world boss here i'll just fight the world boss while i'm here do you think that'll count oh right ben ben i'm so sorry you're asking about uh Roleplay. So Ben Green said, uh, is there any good videos or resources for me uh, to get into roleplaying in this game specifically for the lore? Um, they played the Bounty Hunter story, but they're still in, in the first chapter, it sounds like. Um, and I asked them, did they see the movies? Do they know who is Boba Fett? They said, Ben said, yes, I've seen all the movies, but not much of the shows, but I played KOTOR and KOTOR 2. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you played KOTOR 1 and 2. So you are already, you are on a great track. Um, you are already caught up with the most important, you know what, I'm just gonna stuck and go back to the, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm just gonna jump off this ledge and, and go back to the beginning. Did I crunch? Good, perfect. That's what I wanted. I, there we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. This is going to save me some time of wandering around in a circle. Thank goodness. Um, so if you played Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, the biggest thing that you need to know in this game, it's about 300 years later. So all your favorite characters, including like, you know, Bastila Shan and, and Vet, uh, not Vet, uh, Mission Veo and, and uh, some important characters in KOTOR 2. Uh, Bayo Dura, all of them are like, like, toast now. You know, they're 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 done. They're no longer existing because that was three hundred years ago. Um, if you're playing a bounty hunter, you're already pretty familiar with the the kind of general idea of the bounty hunter because of Boba Fett. There's not really that much complicated stuff to the bounty hunter. It's actually the simplest story. Uh, you're a bounty hunter. You capture bounties for people. Um, and in role-playing, that's that's the only real concept that you have to keep in mind if you want to role-play as a bounty hunter. If you're if you're looking for just to jump into RP, bounty hunter is actually a great one because you don't need to know the lore of the Sith or the Jedi, and you can always just feign ignorance. Um, in this era, there's a lot more Jedi and Sith than the movies, and um, the orders have mostly recovered, both the Sith side and the the Jedi side, I've mostly recovered from the events in the previous games. Can Zalbar be alive? Will he's have a pretty long lifespan? I mean, probably? Did my... Did, I thought these little caves respond over time. Maybe they don't, and I actually have to physically find them all? Man, I have not done this in so long. You're a bounty hunter, Harry. Yeah. Um... Bounties could be a bit against anybody in the entire galaxy, but I think a lot of bounty hunters are kind of uh, They kind of are played as dumb brutes Like a lot of people just say I'm just in here for the paycheck, you know So you don't necessarily have to know about any of the more intricate stuff in the universe um, Like the Jedi or the Sith you kind of know they exist, but you may have never even fought one or, or went after one before yeah, you're really in good shape, Ben. Um, but is there, Ben Green, anything specific that you wanted to learn about? I think but with the knowledge that you have between playing Chapter 1, playing Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, and having seen Boba Fett in the movies, you're you're good to go. You're golden. Oh, yeah! The... Oh, Mandalorians. The Mandalorians would be a cool thing to uh, learn a little bit about that I think you might enjoy. So I'm going to... Now that I have a little more direction. So, Teresta. Hostarout. I'm going to link you this lovely video. I made the video by stringing it together from official SOTOR ones. 
but it is a official resource from the Old Republic team. That was when the game, before the game came out. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I found my thingy. Found my thingy. So let's go up and find Rogue's comments again. How about speed? How to not be slow? Okay, I gotta copy paste it again so it doesn't get lost. <laughs> um, explosive intervention. Firestorm. Oh, I see. You're not trying to do them all. I see. What's this one right here? Wasteland Terrors. Ah, right there. Right there. I'll go grab it while I'm here because I made a mess already. Do you do this one up here? This one's called Leave No Jedi Behind. Nope. You're like, that one's not worth it. Okay, so let's check my progress on achievements. Oh, sis. Oh, sis. Oh, sis. Daily areas. Oh, sis. Exploration heroic missions. I'm at 23 out of 90 right now. And let's go kill his bug. What planet is this? Hey there, Cookie Crust. This planet is the planet of Osis. It takes place in the later expansions. It's a pretty cool planet. I quite like it. It's actually very lore heavy. Dun, dun, dun. Carlos says, there's one in the river, one on the ruin. You're constantly ignoring them. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's embarrassing. Thanks for noticing, Carlos. I'll have to use my special eyes next time I run this. Matex says, personally, I use my main bounty hunter as an RP reason to give best car armors to my characters who are under her in my legacy family tree. Oh, that's awesome. She's sharing and helping. Sharing and carrying with uh, some uh, best car armor. Okay, now we can check that achievement again. Did it up that number or do I have to complete the whole patrol? Dailies, Osis. No, Skull. Oh my gosh. Skull. No, it does not. It does not allow you to easily complete them. Da -da 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 -da. Perimeter protection and wasteland terrors. Oh, it looks like I I don't have all the taxi points unlocked. That's funny. Um, Silverthorn asked C server. I don't know if it was in uh, reference to something, but I'm guessing you're asking about the Southeast Asia server? Question mark. Um, we do have an Asia Pacific server called Shea Vizla here that you can you can go check out. Ancient Runes Outpost. Here we go. Beskar Mom. Oh, I love that idea. She's your character's Beskar Mom. Phantom says, dang, I kind of want to find an Ash Ketchum outfit and be a bounty hunter. Zilbar, the merciless stabber. I choose you. That'd be a very silly roleplay. Oh my goodness. CPU says, and just like that, I want to go get some cookies. Got an H-E-B. What's the Heb? Does Heb sell cookies? Are you going to get some for the whole class? Ben says, Osis. Oh, Ethan. Ethan says, Osis. Oh, sis. Love this planet. Spent months grinding for the reputation gear for my main shadow. <gasps> yeah, I really like this planet. Um, I actually do have uh, the reputation track unlocked as well. Let's see. Crossed wires and crossed wires. Okay, so this is not necessarily one of the ones that Rogue suggested to go to. So kind of need, can just skip this, this area up here in the north, it looks like. Is crafting armor or weapons worth it in this game? Asked Patty. Hey, Patty. Um, it really depends what you mean by worth. So if you're looking to get end game level 80 armor, no. The crafting system's actually behind the current like level level in the game. And so there's no real crafting at end game except augments and they're honestly not really worth it compared to just buying them on the GTN. Um, there is, however, lots of fun cosmetic stuff you can craft. For example, there's a ton of decorations you can craft for your stronghold, your player housing. There is a lot of different cosmetic armors you can craft. There is a bunch of cosmetic weapons that you can craft. There's color crystals that you can craft. There's dyes that you can craft. Um, so there's that's, that's quite a big list when you add those all up. Let's see. Sacred artifacts and collected history. Nope, those were also not on the list. I'm I'm awesome at this game. <laughs> okay, so skip the far left one too, it looks like. Oh, here's the farms. That's where I was trying to get to. So the other ones we're trying to find are... 
perimeter protection, sensor sweep. Oh, and remembering the past, would you pick up a catacombs entrance QT? Oh, whoops. I made bad life choices. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go uh, set some things on fire. I mean, uh, not on fire. <gasps> Put out the fires. On Imperial side, you set the fires. We didn't start the fires. Uh, they were already burning since the Imperials were turning. Do you think they'll ever add the crafting so it's up to current level? I think they will at some point. I think the general idea is that they'd like to revamp the entire crafting system and they probably don't feel it's worth it to just kind of slap on a, an extra level and call it a day uh, rather than revamping the whole thing. But I think they wanted to finish a lot of other stuff before they revamped the crafting system. Um, for example, I think they really wanted to get the economy and the GTN under control first. Um, and they're getting there with that, which is pretty cool. So once that's a little more under control, my guess is that the person who is uh, focusing uh, his staff efforts on the GTN will be more free and possibly will be transferring over to working more specific. Where's the fires? <gasps> Do I have the quest, but I can't put out the fires because it hasn't happened in the story? If so, that is freaking hilarious. Or can I just not see them, but I can click them? Okay, so I can literally see the bugs setting things on fire. <gasps> oh gosh, Ragen, I saw you say that the story is missing this part, but I figured it wouldn't let me pick up the quest. Oh, that is, that is too funny. That is hilarious. Okay, so if you try and go do this daily area early, you can't do this specific one. Oh, that's that's really funny because there's no fires to extinguish. So apparently the fires have not always been burning since the world was turning. Um <laughs> <laughs> that's super cool. So yeah, um, that's my guess is once they feel settled down with the GTN and especially because they got some other big chunks of stuff out of the way now. They finished up like the, the uh, Asia Pacific server. They finished up uh, cloud servers and stuff like that and how that might affect the economy. And they're pretty set in this new gearing system. I think they're just going to keep expanding on it over time. I think now they can maybe start looking into i think there might be still some gtn stuff left if they wanted to try and do what's it called a buy order system they mentioned that they wanted to look into it but it was very much like a a bullet point that hasn't come up since so i have no idea if they're still uh working on it or not but if they can do that then crafting system uh, crafting system overhaul would be so cool i don't even know what that uh would look like though a crafting overhaul like i know it needs to happen the current system is not very useful at all but i don't know what that would look like in terms of changes so we'll have to see the the developer who worked on the gtn seemed to have done a really good job with it um in terms of actually fixing inflation so maybe they do a great job at, at the crafting overhaul too and team together yeah i'd really like yes um Dark Powder says, I actually suspect we'll have cosmetic zero tier crafting coming in the future where we'll end up crafting fitted gear. Yes, so that is one of the things that they need to address with crafting that you can craft gear and it has stats, but it's weird because you might just want it for the cosmetic look and there's no like actual use for it. Like stats wise, once you're past that level, but you might want to use it for the looks. Like I, I don't know how they're gonna address that or how they wanna, how they want, what they want crafting to be for. For me, at the moment, crafting's strongest point is just cosmetics, and we could definitely use some new cosmetics every once in a while, you know. Like uh, I've, I've seen all the crafting stuff. There hasn't been any new cosmetic stuff for a long time. I think since 6.0, and even then, that was just a couple. Um. But how do they want crafting to interact with the entire system? How should it interact with Conquest? How should it interact with Galactic Seasons? How should it interact with gear at level 80? How should it interact with gear 
at low level? How should it interact with the augments and the augment economy, which are a huge uh, factor in the end game economy uh, in terms of credits and credit earning and selling and stuff like that? So just a lot of, lot of questions. How do they want materials to be gathered? Is that going to change? Um, what about Jawa scrap and the Jawa scrap economy, which is also tied into like cartel packs and galactic seasons and login rewards and conquests and disassembling gear? There's a lot of stuff to consider. It's not like a little small task. Dark Powder says, I love all my archived crafted armor mech and synth weaving. Beautiful stuff. <gasps> yeah, right. That's the kind of stuff that they added back to uh, fitted armors. But what fitted armors are available is very random. Phantom says, sad that every veteran plus operations character will have biochem and nothing else matters for them. Yep, yep. How will how will biochem be affected? How Will there be reusables? Will reusables still be tied to only biochem players like it just goes on and on and on so many questions and then crafted gear i've talked about this before that i really love a way to collect armor that isn't uh co in collections will crafted armor be there will there be a way to collect it and have it in some type of collection system rather than just only collecting the schematics will you be able to get schematics from other sources now like from flashpoints or something like that like oh my gosh just on and on and on and on and on and on forever but cool yeah yeah i i would like to see a crafting overhaul down the road i think i feel like they definitely would too it's just like a matter of what what things they need to focus on first Captain Jumper said, During the group on Monday, I found a wanted poster of an NPC. I translated it last night. Jassa Tar is wanted for four crimes against Nar Shaddaa. <gasps> if anybody wants to hunt down Jassa Tar as a, as a bounty hunter, you got it. You're sold. Question, can you filter by price on the GTN? Hey, Carlos. Yeah, you sure can. Um, so there's two different ways to do it. The first way and the one that I use the most is I'll do my search. And then there is a price tab on the top right and when you click it you sometimes have to click it twice it'll sort from lowest to highest so i use that a lot like i was i wanted to give my character a die but i didn't know what color i wanted to put in it so i just searched for dyes and then sorted low to high <laughs> until i found one i liked you know so i didn't have to pay a bunch of, pay a bunch of credits and then there's also i believe Oh, I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember if this exists or not, but I think there's a price filter. You can set like the max price and the min price. That might be just for level, I can't remember. I never really use that one very much, but I think it's useful if it exists, if you are a free to play player, because you can set a max limit of 1 million credits, or if you're just still uh, building wealth in the game, you can set it to whatever amount you have and it won't show you stuff you can't afford so you don't have to cry about it. Personally, I just like to order by price and then, you know, Oh yeah, you can set maximum price. Cool, cool, cool. I thought so. I just couldn't remember. But I like to just sort by price and just look at the lower range instead. Just then you get an idea of, of prices. Oh, darn it, Samoa cookie. I thought we were past that coconut delicious caramel gooey goodness. Oh. Yummy. Dark Powder says, I also suspect they'll bring back like in Dark Side tokens sometime too, but tokens given through other means. Right! They said they originally wanted to bring those back, but then they never did. Probably just because it was just so low down the priority list compared to like bringing out the cloud servers, getting that 64-bit launch, uh, and just getting out content regularly that is normal content, you know? Yeah. It's too bad that the dark versus light rewards are just kind of sitting in the garbage right now and in, in, in that you can't actually go get them in any way. It's unfortunate, but like if we're picking where we want them to spend their time, it's probably probably would rather it elsewhere like story or like new daily area and stuff like that. But yeah, who knows? Maybe they'll they'll be able to just work it into one of the other systems. Ta-da! One more quest done. Okay, we can't do Firestorm, hilariously enough. Let's just drop that so I don't get confused. And the other one that was suggested, there was perimeter protection. I think I got lost. I think I need to go back here to the farms. 
Fresh, uh, yeah, so um, in the end, uh, they're doing a good job with the GTN. It's not, it still needs some tweaking in terms of the UI and how things work, but like inflation wise and mm, lots of other features related to it, really, really fantastic. Like I really enjoyed using it, but I am not a power user of the GTN, at least not anymore. So I can't really speak to that, but like being able to search for just cheapest dyes or cheapest armor or cheapest mounts and stuff like that is so awesome now. Like let's say you're a new player and you want to get a cool mount. It's fantastic for searching for that because you can just search for mounts, filter, uh, sort by price, and you can see one of each kind going up in price. It's just great for browsing now. Mantego says, what? Why exactly has this big dark versus light event that I missed never come back? Oh yeah, okay, so the dark versus light event, um, if you missed it way back in the day, I don't know how familiar you are with it, um, but it was a big list of tasks that you could do over the summer. Um, so it was as little as uh, run like three flashpoints or like just do level a character to 20 or so, like little tasks like that, all the way up to run every single flashpoint once, run every single flashpoint in master mode, level like two characters to level 50 or level eight characters to level 50. Like there, there was different tiers you could reach and it was such, some of it was insane, like huge, huge, huge tasks. Okay, what was the last one we were trying to get? I think it was the one near the Jedi Temple Rogue said. Let me go back up a bit. Obi-Wan O'Malley. What is his name? I wish I could control F in chat, but I can't. Should've like pinned it or something. Oh, I can't find it. I'm so sad. Um, but it was very, very highly grind. Very, very highly grind. Um, and it was fine because it was like a summer event. You could choose how high in the tiers you wanted to go. There was some very exclusive and cool rewards at the time. Um, but in the end, they decided that they didn't want to repeat the event because players were very interested in the rewards but not necessarily interested in that level of grind or re repetition of content. Oh, I see. Okay, I can't pick up that story quest because... Or that... I can't talk to that NPC because I don't have that story quest. So you can do dailies on Osis on a lower level character, but you may not be able to do them as efficiently. Which is actually okay. Kind of interesting. So yeah, I think I'm gonna mount up and just run and go do those little cells up there that I was skipping past earlier. Intazar said, the problem I had with dark versus light events is you had to do everything on new characters. If you want to participate, you had to put aside your main character and favorite characters for a while. Oh, interesting. Um, I don't think I'd seen that perspective, but I probably did. It was so long ago at this point. I had a lot of fun making new characters in the end and grinding stuff out with my guildmates. Um, but I guess I was interested in that at the time because i i didn't have i don't even know if i had legendary status at that point so i, I made a light character and a dark character and that was pretty cool but yeah so they did uh Intizar says galactic seasons are better than the dark versus light event so they actually rolled in a lot of the ideas from dark versus light an event into galactic seasons and even some of the oh my gosh i'm gonna die even some of the rewards from Dark vs. Light event made it into Galactic Seasons. So I don't think we'll ever see it again, especially now that we have Seasons. It kind of fulfills the same purpose. The only thing that we haven't gotten back in this some way is the armor that gives you an XP boost at lower levels. That was one of the really cool and uh, exciting Oh, I'm sorry. Exciting rewards and they've, they've never granted it again. And I think that's because they don't want to unbalance the XP economy any more than it already is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I, I think I have a list of objectives actually up on, on Sotrisa.com somewhere because it was pretty neat. Val says, still waiting for the Grand Acquisition Race to come back. That was a weird one, Val. 
If you, you never got to play that back in the day, it was very early on, before they had created repeating events. It was this really strange one-time event. And I'm so glad they shifted more towards the like repeatable events because it made so much more sense. <laughs> but I don't think they'll ever bring that back. I bet you like half of it's broken at this point, you know? Like I bet you even if they like made it available again, it would just be like uh, you couldn't complete the quests and stuff. Oh, it was so weird. Does anyone remember running that back in the day? I vaguely remember something about a dance floor, something about the weird little speeder on Narshada. I, uh, the rewards are already back. The rewards are available uh, through the event ambassador, if I remember right. And there wasn't any achievements for it. There may not even, I don't even know if achievements existed yet or not at that point. I can't remember. Da -da -da. Yeah, for example, the Hyrode Scrapper was such a funny reward. A speeder that looks broken. I was so keen on that when it came out. But there are other ways to get that now, which is which is always great to see. I think all the rewards are still available, so they won't come back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think another reason it probably won't come back is, like, they'd have to convert it to be repeatable for it to make sense. And it's not anywhere near as good as the other events from what I remember. It was a lot more, it was like a foray into events. Watch Crimson says, I wish I could understand Sorcerer's Lightning Specs rotation priorities. What don't you understand? You just zap things. No, just joking. Um, Lightning, uh, have you checked out guides and stuff like that yet? Just to make sure. So here's my super basic guides. I'm guessing you may have already seen that. And from there you can go find some more complicated guides in, in the level 80 section. You checked mine? Okay, yeah. It's very, very starter, though. <gasps> Dark Powder says, It wasn't as good as the Beastmaster title. Now that was a Bormu eradication grind. No! You are a liar. You don't have to kill Bormus for, for Beastmaster. I'm pretty sure that's not part of the Beastmaster achievement, or I would have never done it. I can't kill 800 Bormus. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Nuh uh. Crazy Griffin says, watching so Teresa while trying to do the liabilities on Narshada, enemies to respond is so chill. Ah, I'm glad you're uh, having some downtime there. Yeah, they can take a while. You just kind of sit and sit and wait. I like doing it with a group, so we just kind of hang out until until they show up. <laughs> Devilchi says, uh, um, if you're running dailies. Oh, say Rikoji says, if you're running dailies, just, you know, put lightning on the floor. But uh, Devilshi says, big ball plus chain. <laughs> Apparently that's how you play lightning. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for more of those little containers. I feel like I could probably do this in stealth more efficiently. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Oh, I can. Look at that. Bye suckers. Never saw them coming. We need to find just one more. It looks like there's one over here. And it looks like I killed everything here. Perfect. Awesome. The only quality of life I want, says Dark Powder, is another tab or more in my legacy vault. I actually would rather more specific places to put this stuff in your legacy vault. Like like I said, a way to collect armor outside of the collection system. Because that's like 90% of my legacy bay. Now that we can put crafting materials in the crafting bay. Okay, let's see. We finished another quest. I think I did five. Did I finish daily area patrol? Oh, to get to finish the weekly. I only have to do more, one more quest, but I don't need anything from it. Do I need those little Osis relics or do I just have a giant pile that I'm not using? I don't have very many. What other ones do I have? Da -da 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 -da. Oh, that's not useful. Collected history, recover Jedi artifacts, and sacred artifacts retrieve the ancient lightsabers. Oh, I don't really feel like doing those, to be honest. But it looks like, if I check here, it looks like I did successfully complete patrol. So let's see if it actually upped my thing to 24. Wait, did it not count? Oh, that was so sad. Oh, 
I'm so disappointed. Oh, I did those for nothing when it came to my goal. Oh, I'm so sad. So unfortunately, because I didn't have the patrol quest, doing those five dailies didn't count towards the patrol quest because I didn't have it. And so I didn't make any progress on my achievement that I was trying to do. Oh, I'm going to go have a little cry. Oh, that's unfortunate. I should have been able to figure that one out myself, though. I just wasn't paying attention. Oh. Uh. Ethan says, the GTN is wild. You'll search for something and a page will be reasonably priced. And there's just pages of people wanting millions for Tauntaun runs. Uh, hey, 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 at least with the new... Did I get stuck in this cage? Oh, no! <laughs> I destroyed the cage and accidentally walked into it, and then it respawned closed. And so, uh, I can't leave. Oh, no. Let's see. How do I even pick up the heroics, actually? Do I have a way to do that? Because the heroics you would normally go pick up at the farms, right? Gamar says, Hey, Sadrisa, how does one go about getting one of those community mounts like the Opal Voptilla and the Mandalorian? I read somewhere they could be obtained from content creators. That's right. I'm selling mine for $600 each. No, just joking. Um, there is a very small limited amount that's given to content creators over periods of time. Um, most content creators give them out in either as contests or for help or volunteer work or support you know um i usually give mine away either to players who are helping contribute to the sotor community in some way or another or i like to do contests speaking of which we're going to be having some tomorrow because tomorrow is my birthday event and you can see more about that in sotorista.com slash events um the other way to do it would be to do we have the list of content creators? Hang on. Sotor forums, content creators. A lot of other people like to do giveaways either in their discords or in their Twitter. And here's a list of content creators that you can go check out. Usually you can find links to their social media like their Twitter through there. Tracking huge achievements is the joy of this game. Okay, so I don't see any quest givers here either. So, oh, that's very unfortunate. So I was excited about this update uh, so I could go do questing on Osis on characters that haven't finished the story, but because I haven't finished the story, these <laughs> NPCs, these characters that would grant me the quests don't actually exist. So I guess I have to, if I was working on reputation, I think it would be fine. But if I wanted to do the Osis quest to actually make progress on my achievements, I'll have to do it on characters that are caught up in the story. So maybe I'm sure I have some. I, I just have to figure out what those characters are. I'm trying to see if I have any that are caught up in the story but are not level 80. So I could uh, kind of benefit from leveling them up while running Osis dailies. Let's take a look at this character. Ben Trotter says, Hi, Citrus. I wanted to thank you so much for your channel. Your channel is so cool. Especially love your awesome armor looks. Prayers to you and your family from... Ah, from New Zealand. Hey there. Thank you, Ben Trotter. Thank you so much for the nice message. Um, I'm glad you enjoy the, uh, the armor videos. I've been thinking a lot about those lately. About how I have other projects in the works right now. So I, I can't, like, divert too much. But I've been, I've been like, mm, I kind of want to go back to making, like armor look ideas and videos because those are really fun to me like they're really creative and they're fun to like explore different options and stuff like that especially like bounty hunter looks or like inquisitor looks you know it's fun it's cool okay let's take a look at where this character is on the track class story oh I think it looks like There is some weird stuff going on in my list of quests right now, but it doesn't look like I'm up to Osis yet. I noticed one armor I wanted really bad back when I played before was working 
when I was before I was a working person is the destroyer armor set from the cartel market is there a way to acquire it somehow so uh, crimson much like all other cartel market items Patricia.com slash armor okay destroyer there is two main ways to get any armor set and if you want all of the information about that I'll link it in chat because it's all in the sidebar right here um so basically you can either buy it from the GTN or you can buy it from the cartel market if it's available there things go on and off the cartel market on a fairly regular basis let's take a look at this character see if she, where she's at you can get a set just like the that one with dies there is a lot of similar ones if this is the one you're thinking of, there is definitely some similar ones. Let's see. I don't have them listed on the site. Let's see, maybe there is some under crafting. Uh, that would be probably like synth weaving. Dun, 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 dun. Like I think this one's kind of similar for the chest piece. And then a shark helmet, I like to get that from section X. Oh, here, Nano Silk has some shark helmet. Deville, she says, if I have a finished romance, it appears the companion screen is a check mark. And depending on some location of the class stores, I can figure out a few romances. Oh, this was someone asking about that earlier? Oh yeah, Deville, she said, question to people that are more in-game romance focused. I haven't been paying attention to all the romance I did wear and thus at the launch, of date night, I have to figure out what romance I can do where, but I ran into a small problem. Okay, so, De Vilci, this game does garbage at tracking in a way that you can easily see where you are at in the story and what decisions you have made. It is just terrible. To be fair, I don't think there's many other games at its time that were any better. There's plenty of games that came out afterwards that were much better at showing your decision tree. This game is just poop. As far as I can tell, there is no good way. The only good way to do it, as far as I know, is to open that companion's window, window and like clicking the companion and seeing if there's anything with the little green check mark. That's about all you got. That's all you got. And A Royalist, thanks for the nice comment as well. Um, I have something I wanted to take a look at. Oh yeah, I want to go to the G -G GTN. The GTN and see if the destroyer armor sits on there. A royalist is stuck between deciding between Kira and Lana. It's a hard choice. They're both pretty cool. Um, there was a question about the website. Uh, I noticed... Uh, no, no, no. Something about female armors. Why is there only female armors models on Sotorista.com? <gasps> yeah. So those are all taken manually. Those screenshots. There's probably like... 20,000 screenshots or something stupid. Like images on the site. And they're all done by hand. And I have to collect every set of armor. And many of them I don't have unlocked in collections. Oh wow, look, there's only one piece of two pieces of that entire set on the GTN, the helmet, and it's three billion credits. LOL. I would just not get that. I would just I would just put it out of your mind. It's a mess. Terrible mess. So it's it's very, very very much a time. Thing. Uh, I know players would really prefer if you could preview on Citrixta.com on male characters too. It's just I don't have the stamina for it. <laughs> I have other things I would rather be working on. The, the female armor set should give you a general idea of the look. And why female and not male? Because, I don't know, all my characters are female for the most part. At least all the first ones I created were. And that's when I started this site. I have lots of male characters now. Uh, let's see. Where is this character at in the story we were checking? They're in Fallen Empire. They're in Onslaught. They're working on Ondron. So I think they have finished Osis. So let's go take a look. Let's go take a little sneaky peeky over here. But yeah, uh, Gun Rear some other games i think i there's this wonderful site that had final fantasy armors final fantasy online the mmo armors and they were all on, on like a perfect white background and stuff like that i think 
those some other games make it a lot easier to collect and display armors than SOTOR does. I could be wrong. But it, w it was my impression that it's just very hard to do. Um, I think if I was doing it more like uh, Tor Fashion, do you remember Tor Fashion back in the day? If I was doing it more like Tor Fashion, it would be more tenable. I don't know if you noticed, but the way I have them... Ah, here's the heroic quest. It actually worked. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Okay, so this character has mm, technically finished the story. Does she have any gear? Ah. Uh, she has some basic gear. That's all she needs, I think. I want to put her back in her original outfit though because it's wonderful little little red reaper outfit so cute super cute did she always have pigtails though i don't remember <laughs> did i change her hair at some point that hairstyle even exists back in the day oh my goodness okay so it looks like I have a little more to pick up, maybe. I don't need those. Can I pick up the daily, weekly, and heroic one? Heroic missions, weekly missions, daily patrol. And there's the one I was missing before that I was crabby about. So this is the Imperial one. So it is a bit different. But I can at least go do a couple just for fun, right? Do you have... Oh, I see. And this character doesn't have any of the areas unlocked either. So I'm going to go to Osis Canyons just so I can uh, easily get to a speeder for the farms. So there was a question um, from Kobe. Kobe, that's not a dumb question at all. I hope I don't sound dumb, but is there other ways to get the original purple color crystal? Okay, so I'm wondering if the reason you're asking that is because you looked in collections of the cartel market and you see that there's all these crazy color crystals. These non, non generic purple color crystals. Okay, so I've got some great news, but there absolutely is a way to get very basic purple lightsaber crystal. Let's go to sofrista.com slash crystals. Purple. Just purple, just purple. So it says the way to get the purple color crystal is to do eternal championship. And I'm glad I didn't tell you this off the top of my head because I would have told you wrong. Um, but the eternal championships is really fun um, activity that you can play once you have finished uh, chapter nine of Knights of the Fallen Empire. And I have actually just linked information about eternal championship for you in chat. And if you're at the point that you can start playing that, um, the purple crystal is one of the easiest rewards you can actually get. So easy, easy peasy for you, you know? Oh, wow. There's a lot of dailies that you couldn't, I couldn't pick up uh, because none of these uh, NPC characters actually existed. That's crazy. Like, look how many more dailies I have and I have only traveled to one location. Wow. Okay, so let's see. What might be some easy ones? Deliver supplies to Imperial troops. That one's probably pretty easy. Defeat Mutage and Ocean captains probably that one's pretty good too oh and i should get a companion what do we got here oh yeah. <laughs> my highest companion is an influence level three companion oh boy here we go that's fine actually pretty challenging to win really it's worth studying the mechanics of each eternal championship uh garmar says eternal championship is not easy i only beat it once so far and that's why i'm saying it's pretty easy to get the purple color crystal because you do not have to beat it. You only have to get um, the uh, weeklies, the weeklies done. And and not even the weekly all the way to the end. Where am I, what am I doing over here? I'm dropping supplies, what does that mean? Deliver supplies to Imperial troops. Are you guys Imperial troops? Nope. Are you stuck up? Nope, Have nope. 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 Old oh, man Mark. Thank you. Hi. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. As always, you know all about the project. Thank you very much. Uh, Intazar also has a wonderful tip here. Intazar says you can also... 
hello. <laughs> that scared me. Hi, Andy, and hi, Andy friends. Nice to see you guys. What are you guys up to on stream? We're uh, running Osis dailies very inefficiently and chatting about color crystals. Is this one I'm supposed to drop? Oh, I see. I see. I'm looking for these little yellow beams of love, I guess. Who else wants some supplies? Um, so Intisar says you can also find them on the GTN. If you're on Star Force, send a note to Intizar on Republic Sign, they'll make you one. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, so I think I thought I thought you could craft one and I was kind of confused. Oh, I even have a whole note about it. There may also be other versions of these crystals available on the GTN from players who have the crafting schematic. At the time of making this database, I could not find a plus 41 crystal to buy from other players, but I was able to find other purple crystals for sale. There you go. And he says, what else? We are making outfits. Smuggler has to sneak into someplace in the main story, Corellia, so we made a disguise. <laughs> nice. That's fun. That's very fun. I'm having trouble finding where to drop these supplies. I found one spot. And I'm finding these cells. I find them pretty easy to find. It says I'm kind of vaguely in the right area. Mick, you too. Thanks so much. Near the camps? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I think I'm kind of in the wrong area then. I see the camp over here. Oh, oh, I think someone had already clicked it. Oh, I think I was just here earlier and there was a player standing here. There we go. Okay, that would make sense if so. Mick, thanks. Thanks for using your Amazon Prime. I wonder if I head over here there'll, if there will be one now. Yes, there is. Wonderful. There we go. I just have to be patient. Hey there, do you take this you. train off? <laughs> Always. Hey there, do you take this train often? <gasps> Andy, thank you very much. You're funny. When you release cages, you drop supplies as an Imperial. Yeah, it's neat that they kind of overlap like that. Here you go, here's some uh, stale biscuits to feed your Jedi. Jedi prisoner there. And yeah, uh, Kobe, Intazar can, is, is one of our it's one of my friends that I play with every day. I mean, not every Wednesday. <laughs> every day! <laughs> every day! Um, he can craft you a crystal and send it to you in the mail. Very, very easily. And if he already has a schematic, it's not like a big... It's not like a big expensive thing for him to do. It's just a time, you know? Shaw. Shaw posted earlier. Shaw, I missed your message. I'm sorry. Shaw says, I hope you're feeling better. Are those glasses helping? Thank you so much for the Academy and all you do for sure. Hey, Shaw. Um, the glasses have... I, th I do think they help with the eye strain. I don't think they're helping with the headache. Um, I am doing a bit better than I was, which is nice. I was doing very poorly for a while. Doing a little better. I actually got a proper day of sleep yesterday. Um, I screwed up last night and failed to go to sleep properly. I think I got like one hour of sleep last night. Oh, man. But otherwise, I was happy to get one day in. Okay, so patrol. Patrol I have now. And I just wanted to double check that it wasn't counting towards the patrol. Like Skull was saying it might. Uh, heroic missions. 23 out of 90 still. So nope. Nope. It's literally... Five quests every day for 67 more days. That's so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. I guess I could do it on multiple characters every day. And I guess it will become a lot faster once I stop running around in kind of mindless circles. Okay, defeat three mutated Geonosian captain captains. I should probably turn on my nameplates. That'll make things a little easier for me. So I'm looking for a very specific type of enemy and I'm wondering I see a pile of dead bodies there I'm wondering oh no I see someone else is working on the same quest as me at the same time this is very inefficient here so I think I think I'm gonna go kind of oh no look they're headed they're headed to the same spot they're doing a very efficient route let's see Maybe we can kill it together. We should both get credit. Should being the keyword. Should. 
Can you enter someone's stronghold from a different faction? Cookie crust, yes, but it doesn't always work, which is unfortunate. They're supposed to be able to list it publicly. Did it count? Yeah, it did. Oh, if I hustle, if I hustle, I can I can catch them attacking the next one too, right? Looks like they're headed down the river towards it. Wait, one hour of sleep last night. Didn't you already get no sleep the day before that? No, it was the first... That was the first day I'd gotten sleep. Yesterday. Pew pew! Oh, the guy's not here either. Someone else beat both of us here. <gasps> How rude. Da -da 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 -da. Dang, they were on that like hotcakes. Hey boss, this is Zach Taft421. Hello, employee. <laughs> nice. So that that's a that was a quick and easy one, my goodness. Uh, this one wants me to defeat the Swarm Lord. That's uh, not a daily, so I don't think I'm going to worry about that at all. And uh, maybe I can go find those captains now. Now that this player doesn't seem to be uh, in this area. They like quick traveled out ASAP. They were fast. Fast. Are you a captain? No, you're not captains. You're just little guys. Ba -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Looks like in this little area here. I don't know if I've ever run the Imperial side of these, actually. I'm not entirely sure. So, Cookie Crust, the idea is that you're supposed to be able to list your player housing publicly. And it should be... And there's an option to list it for just your faction or both factions. However, however... Oh, here's where the captain might respond. However, unfortunately, we found that when we've tried, it it do doesn't always work. Like if I'm on Republic side and I try listing it for both sides, it still only works for Republic side. But yeah, and you can only send out invites to people on your same faction too, I think. Direct invites. Ah, I was hoping the Geonosian captain would have been respawned by now. Because I see the dead body. So I know it's supposed to be here. But I guess it doesn't really make sense to wait or try and wait around for it. So let's... Am I at the Osis Farms? Oh, apparently I'm really close to them. They're like right around the corner here. Question mark? Is there a way to get to them? Oh yeah, there's this little, a little pathway right here. Cool. And I should, okay, so here's my question. You know how you can't put out the fires because the fires don't exist yet because the story hasn't happened yet? If I'm an Imperial, can I set the fires? I don't know if I have a character I could test that on. Could I set the fires even if I haven't done the story? You know, just be a little pyromaniac for no particular reason. You should be allowed to, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. Whoops. Okay, here we go. It's looking good. Sabotage Jedi Farms. <gasps> That person's here too. That person's running Osis Dailies. Oh, Never Carrots has been playing the beta of Throne in Liberty. Gotta say, it's really good. What type of game is that? Never Cared, and what do you like about it? Um, I'm wondering, Indazar, if Kobe, if Kobe is free to play, they might not be able to message you, unfortunately. Okay, let's see. Let's set some more fires. There's already some fires here. Let's put down some more. Because, you know. Oh, whoa. What did I click? Oh, I did not mean to leap over here. Who's your favorite romance companion? Scourge is the only right answer, says Ethan. Hey, you're not allowed to ask me questions and say there's a right answer. In that case, I'm just going to say the only correct answer is Kem Val. Um... I'm trying to remember if I have a favorite romance. I really like Bug Boy, Vector, a lot. I know that's kind of silly, but I, I really do. I think it's a very neat little, unique romance. 
Oh, oops, I did accidentally trigger these guys too. Smash! Luckily, things on this planet don't seem too hard to kill, even though I'm uh, level 78 and wearing garbage gear. I haven't really come across anything difficult yet. Would you be interested if we would be offered SOTOR 2? Uh, I don't think it'll ever happen, but yeah, sure. I really like the Old Republic era in general. But that's definitely not, not in the cards for sure. I don't even know what that would look like. I mean... Are there any MMOs that have an actual sequel? And the only online game that I've ever seen have a true like sequel is Overwatch 2. And I don't even know if that was considered successful or not. They ended up cut. I know they ended up cutting a bunch of content. Like they, they cut the whole PVE section. Is there anything else for me to blow up? Because I like blowing stuff up. I, but I don't see any more. There maybe one over here for me to blow up. No, I wonder if the rest is in the north. Yeah, the rest is in the north, okay. Phew, phew. Oh, hey, I have to destroy turrets. Oh, well, there's turrets right here. Certainly makes things easy. Oh, look, it respawned. So I can just go click it. Nice. Final Fantasy XIV has like 13 before and two after. Oh, ah, no, those are solo games, you silly. If they made a quest, if they made a, like a solo game that came after SOTOR, they'd call it something else. They'd call it um, Padawans of the Old Republic. I don't know, something like that. Okay, so there is a heroic here. There's a heroic somewhere nearby, and I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this character is going to be equipped enough to try and do the heroic four solo. I might give it a shot just to see how I feel about it. <laughs> Have fun in Gil Wars 2 shown. I am kind of sad I had to uninstall Gil Wars 2 from my computer for Final Fantasy. Poor little computer couldn't handle that and Baldur's Gate at the same time. Ben Trotter says, Hi, Sadrisa. I hope that your eye strain problems get better. I struggle with the same having previously had head injury. Also pray that you get loss of sleep, too. Thank you. Thanks, Trotter. Thanks for the well wishes. Um, not not, not from a head injury or anything, luckily. Um, just had headaches since I was very young. Still, still trying one day at a time to figure out what's causing them. Grr. Nerf Herders of the Outer Rim. I love that. That's the perfect name. Okay, so what am I supposed to be doing here? I'm supposed to be... Destroying turrets and scanning crops and something or other. Scanning crops. Introduction to PvP. We don't need that. Drama cost. Don't need that. Weekly. Don't need that. Don't need that. I am kind of confused, actually. Am I supposed to have a little scanner or something? Mission items, maybe? Ah, here we go. This should do the trick. There we go. Burr -burr. Cookie says, There was this one time I was recording Sotor footage, but the audio didn't record for some reason. Do you have any idea why? My game crashed the same night as well. Ah, so recording stuff is always a bit complicated. Um, it depends what kind of software you are using to record. So for example, I have a built-in one with my NVIDIA graphic card that I can use and it just works. There's no, not, not that many settings at all. Then uh, if you're using OBS, which is a common program people use to record stuff, there's different audio channels that you sometimes have to tweak. So it really, really depends what you're using in the first place. Otherwise, I can't really, I can't really troubleshoot for you. That's a, that's a like personal computer problem, you know? Montego says, which Sotor storyline do you think it would best adapted to uh, support a single player RPG? Oh yeah. So Montego says, I know many people say the night is basically KOTOR 3, but I feel like it's too basic. So personally, I don't think any of the stories alone are really worth like a single player game just by themselves. I would, because 
Um, one of the things that they have to do when writing these stories is to have them be not too powerful or not too um, overwhelming compared to the other classes. You have to exist with one other players and you have to exist with two within the ongoing... Was I unable to figure this out? Hang on. Oh, I'm thinking of a different quest. Maybe the Republic side one. You're supposed to scan like five boxes or something. I actually already finished it. Rikochi says, I've completed Rishi, but I don't have it unlocked on my newer characters. Yeah, Rikochi. So I know uh, they were working on some of them. They posted something about it on the dev tracker that it wasn't fully finished yet. But I can't remember if Rishi was one of them or not. Like, I think they mentioned Kesson's Landing might be a bit funky. There's at least two other ones. Rishi might have been one of them. So I know, like, one of the things I like about Knights of the Old Republic and even the older Star Wars games, the Kyle Katarn games, is you can have massive effects on the galaxy. Here, they have to kind of keep this status quo between the Republic and the Empire. No one can truly win the game because it's an ongoing game with all the different classes. So the game benefits by being an MMO because it creates this wide open world with many people in it. But the compromise is you definitely have to compromise the story and what you're allowed to do in it. So of course the writing will be compromised as well. So I really wouldn't particularly want them to spend time adapting these stories. I'd rather they go tell a new story that's fully focused on a solo player story. Uh, unless it was like easy to convert this to a solo game, but I doubt it ever would, you know? What, what, what are we fighting? Ah, there you are. Let's catch up with chat. Lament said the agent would be the best story. It's like James Bond in space. But the reason the agent story works so good is because it exists in this MMO world. Like, what makes it so cool is that, like, it interacts so much with, with like, the other class stories. Um, however, I think with some tweaking, an unagent story would be super cool. Like, the whole Jadis thing and your interactions with him and the Sith Order are super neat. I think they could definitely take that, and if they rewrote it and adapted it some, it'd be really neat. Especially if you could actually have follow-up on it. That would be a fun one. I would definitely play that. Um, if you could do the follow-up after the end of the class story, like with your little codex and your choices you made there, that would be neat, because they kind of just end. You make this huge decision at the end of, uh, I forget what it's called, Black Codex or something like that like a keyword um at the end of that story you make this huge decision that could really alter the fate of the entire empire like depending on how you just would could view it or decide to swing it but it never really has any consequences that i know of because because it is an mmo and an ongoing story with multiple classes I would, yeah. That sounds really fun to me for sure. Um, the Sith Warrior is pretty epic. I think a lot of people would really enjoy playing the Sith Warrior story as a standalone game because a lot of people do enjoy the like, mm, the power fantasy of Star Wars. Like, I wanna be a Sith. And the Sith Warrior is a really cool version of that. Like, you get to do some neat stuff as a Sith Warrior and also, it does have a lot of that more classical exploration of the force. And it'd be really cool if you could be a, like a light, light or dark Sith warrior in a solo story with more uh, long-term consequences and stuff like that. That'd be pretty neat. Am I still trying to find turrets? Oh, I am, but I can't find it. Oh, here's one. Here we go. Inquisitor is an open book for continuation. Hunting artifacts, find something crazy. I love the Sith Inquisitor story. It is one that I played the most. I don't know 
if I would pick it for a proper, like, adaption, if we're playing the what-if game, you know? I don't know if it has the right teeth to be worth it for a solo story. Um, ah, here we go. Uh, Kobe says, do I have to be a subscriber to use the note, the mail system? So you don't have to be a subscriber, but you would have to be preferred. So unfortunately, Kobe, if you are free to play, you would have to let Intazar know your character name so he could mail it to you, but you wouldn't be able to, ah, I'm gonna die. But you wouldn't be able to mail him, unfortunately. It's a bit funky like that is to prevent spam. Okay. Quick poll. If they if if any of the eight stories were going to be adapted into a solo game and it would be it would be rewritten and rejiggered and stuff like that. Oh no! Oh no! Leave me alone! Where did you even come from? They like pop out of the ground out of nowhere. We're running away! Actually, you know what? We're not running. We're just going to kill this turret really, really fast. And if we die, we die. It won't matter. <laughs> That's how I handle my problems. Complete. Destroy turrets. And then we're just going to kill ourselves. <laughs> you believe you're preferred? Okay, you should be good to go to, to message into Czar Republic side Star Force server then. Perfect. Maybe write down his name on a piece of paper. What do I do with Jawa junk? Great question. So, Theresa, Jawa junk. You use it to make cash money! Or to get crafting materials, you know? Website, you're embarrassing me. Load faster. Oh, it's because this is a big page. So here's information about kind of what you can do with it. And then second, here's a guide about how to make credits. And there's specifically a section there about how to make credits with Jawa junk. So enjoy those, enjoy those two pages. Okay, let's see. How's my daily patrol going? Patrol Osis, four out of five. Okay, what will be another fast one? I could go fight those little robots. I know how to do that. In the Jedi Temple ruins? No, not there. Catacombs, maybe? Osis Canyons, that's the one. Okay, any, if they could adapt any of the eight class stories, which one would you guys want to see? One choice only. Into a solo story game. Completely rewritten and rejiggered and, and with a partial continuation. One, you had to pick one. One only, one, one, singular. One, 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 just pick one. So Sith Warrior, Sith Inquisitor, Imperial Agent, Bounty Hunter, or Trooper, Jedi Counselor, Jedi Knight, Schmoogler. Schmoogler. Oh, man. I'm going to go check out and see if those mutated Geonosian captains respond. Because I am curious about that quest now. It's, even if it's not necessarily efficient at this point. How do you vote? You just type in the chat. Type it. Yeah. Really? 1938 would play Trooper. That would be a really cool one. I'd, I'd really like that. If you could be a trooper, but in a solo story game, that'd be pretty cool. The trooper is kind of weird because, especially because the expansions and stuff like that. There's some weird stuff going on there. Oh, oh, captain, captain, captain. I see him. I see him. I see him. <laughs> ah! Are you kidding? Yeah, there, like, there's, there is quite a few games that kind of already fit the Jedi Knight fantasy, huh? Would, would you guys say that Cal from Jedi Survivor fits the Jedi Knight fantasy? It does take place in a very specific time zone, though. For the trooper fantasy, uh, have any of you played Battlefront? I think there is a solo campaign, right, to go with it? Even though that's not really the main reason people play it. Does that does that feel like a trooper fantasy? Republic Commando is a good game. Ah uh ha -huh ha, -huh. yeah, there you go. <gasps> what just dropped? Saw decoration. Hollow fire sconce. Heck yes. Thank you. Okay, there's one mutated Geonosian captain. It's not a huge area though. It's 
too bad I can't stealth on this character. That would have been... Oh, hey, look, there's another one. Okay, so last time I came here, I, I must have just came when that player just killed them all. Guillermo del Toro should direct the Sith warrior story? Okay, just so we're on the same page, is he the one who made freaky Hans Labyrinth? I would, I couldn't, I don't think I could watch the Sith Warrior story. Can you imagine Selma, Sel, Selma Kor, whatever his name is, the freaky root, evil, <laughs> purple, boss? Smuggler would be something like an action adventure movie. Oh my gosh, they are basically making the smuggler story though, you guys. Outlaws, Outlaws is basically the smuggler. <laughs> basically the smuggler archetype. So if you want to play the smuggler in a solo story game, Outlaws, I think it's coming out in August, August 30th. They just released uh, some uh, the second story trailer for it, basically. Let's see, I think I'm going too much into the other, the wrong territory here. I'm gonna go, oh, Captain, 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 Captain. Oh, I see, there's some of them just hanging out here. And if uh, there had been stuff alive here the first time, I would have seen that. Adam says, I'd like to see a Sith focused story that isn't just comically tropey mustache twirling villain. <gasps> I'm trying to think, is there any. There's not really any Sith focused games. I mean, apart from. I guess you could. No. I wouldn't count Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, did I just get another deco? Oh, I just got a fire sconce. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm getting super lucky on the decos today. Happy little camper right here. I think that counted as my daily patrol now, right? Yes, I did complete it. And let's make sure it's actually upping my count. <laughs> so I don't cry. Okay. Dailies. Oh, sis. Oh. Did that one not count? Hang on. Is there a second part of the quest? I lied. That quest apparently didn't count towards rescue besiege patrol. I think that's what I'm missing. I, I just I guess I'm just not familiar with how these ones work. What is the rescue? Front line support. Head to the cave and assist the team. Oh, neat. Okay. This quest has a has a second part. So it's not a fast quest, but it is interesting. We have a we have a smuggler movie. It's called uh Han Solo, a solo story. <laughs> What's the incentives behind the dailies? asks Old Man Saul. Credits? Ah, yeah, so that's a great question. Um, the dailies, actually, there's a whole bunch of them, and they actually have a bunch of different motivations or rewards attached to them um, that benefit different types of players. It's pretty cool. Um, I would say they're probably the main thing for solo players to do once you finish the story if you don't want to just go play more story. Um, so my first motivation for doing dailies and the reputation tracks in general is I really like cosmetic rewards and each of the daily areas have usually a ton of cosmetic rewards. Pretty much all of them have an armor set or more than one. Pretty much all of them have decorations or more than one decoration. Um, lots of them have mounts or weapons or pets and stuff like that. And I like to collect all of these things a lot. What do we do? Do we just go murder? Um, second is there's a way to make bar go up, <laughs> which is how some players have described it. Um, there's the whole reputation system here in your legacy. And they're just things you can complete to complete, you know, they track your progress. So a lot of people like that too, like filling up the bars. Um, third, they give good XP, decent XP. There's other stuff that gives better, but if you're double dipping, that's always nice, you know. Uh, fourth. They used to be amazing for credits. They used to be one of the main ways to get credits. These days, you get credits from them, but to be honest, there are probably better ways to do that, more efficient ways. Um, lastly, let me double check something. 
some of the dailies, uh, particularly the newest ones, not these ones, they give uh, stuff you could apply towards end game gearing up, especially if you're a solo player. Hey, look, I got XP, 79. Um, now, with all that said, I actually have a different motivation, and that is because I am working on achievements. And once again, I am very reward motivated <laughs> for, for gaming. Um, and I am working on this achievement that tells me to complete a whole bunch of daily quests for this specific planet, and I'll get these cool decorations. And I actually really, really quite want both of these, so. Slowly but surely, I'll do it over time. This one I should work on too. I think I'm go, gonna go check out the heroics. Or at least one of them, maybe. Doesn't look like I need to do the rest. I think I gotta abandon them just to get them out of my log. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna go try the really hard heroic four quests. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to complete it. I'm gonna turn on the music so I have better... Better, uh combat feedback I guess okay so I should have I should put heroic moment on my bars so this character is not geared up at all well at all not even a little bit well geared I think if you enter general heroic moment here we go heroic moment and do I have unity I can see yeah unity sweet is there anything else that would be useful do I have like a med pack or anything <laughs> <laughs> Let's pop a free XP boost while I'm here. Here's a really crappy mid pack. That'll, that, that's awesome. Fantastic. Okay. So this is a fairly hard heroic. Oh, wait. Is it? Is this the farm? I'm used to doing this Republic side. I actually don't know what's going on here. Interesting. Uh, Rogue says, if you start working on the Osis world boss achievements, I'll join those all day. Do they have a reward? Do they have a do they have a decoration reward? I don't think so, eh? Let me check that really fast. <gasps> Osis. World bosses? Oh, oh, there's a reward for 20 cartel points. So I'm guessing you mostly just want to complete it for make completions completed reasons. Intazar says, I wish the Osis world bosses could be done in regular sized groups. I mean, this Swarm Lord, I don't think he's terrible, right? Could you do him with a group of eight? I'm not sure. We always only ever do him when we're doing the big one. But yeah, that robot droid is... <laughs> always. Thanks for explaining that to me. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome, Old Man Salt. It's just they have a whole bunch of motivations. Um, some stuff, there's more efficient ways to do it. And uh, others, like those cosmetic rewards, that's the only way to get them. <laughs> I like exclusive stuff. The only way I could get it if I heard it. Oh, Adam wants to do ancient threats. Speaking of difficult world bosses. Okay, let's get off my mount. So I think this is about the best I'm going to get for my gear right now and um, anything I have on hand. Okay, defeat the Jedi reinforcements. Okay, let's go Eric Jorkin. I don't have any type of um, uh, efficient rotation right now. So I forgot to set that up. But I wanted to see how hard this might be if I just kind of YOLO it. Like maybe an average player might. Oh, okay. So YOLO not looking so great. I don't think this is one that I could solo on this character. How do you zoom out so far? Says Nutter Butter. Absolutely. Let's put that information in chat for you. You have to edit a little setting that's outside of the game. Uh, Sharon wants to know what's happening with Star Wars Eclipse. Great question. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. Um, but in short, they released that trailer. Um, Embracer and... Uh, sorry. What's the studio that was working on it? The French one. Um, fortunately, it sounds like they had a really toxic work environment. And they're literally lawsuits and stuff like that going on. So... They also seem to be having trouble hiring people because it's a potentially toxic workplace. So who knows if it'll ever get off the ground. We don't know. Quantic Dream, that was the word I was looking for. Thanks. Yeah, this character's name is Blood Tide. She's 
a, she's pretty cool. She's one of the many characters that I created because I want to try different classes. Uh, I forget which one she was created to do. Probably one of the Marauder or the Juggernaut ones. Um, but I made her look like the Red Reaper character. I think I changed her hair since then though because it didn't look cute. I want to take like a picture for a video or something. Oh, 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 okay. So I am dying, but I do have Unity and Heroic Moment I could pop. Oh, I have some defenses too I could use. Hey, where's Eric Jorgen? Is he even doing anything? Oh yeah, he's just sitting back there healing. She doesn't have a lot of protective gear on her, right? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> hey, this is what the, the Sith ladies in Red Reaper are wearing. She's, she's perfectly armored with the force, except when running heroic force by herself. Okay, so did that, did that do the trick or is there more to it? Oh, it looks like there's more to it. Let's go, let's go kick a Jedi Knight. Okay, you're gonna kick up. Come here, come back here. What? <laughs> Group says, I used to be able to play so sorry, but with all the updates, I can't play anymore. What is the minimum file size? Oh gosh. Um, so I'm gonna die. First off. Second off. Eric Jorgen, I need you to actually heal me. I know this is a hard proposition, but it's what I need. I think if I kill some of these guys, they won't respond, so I'll have an easier time when I respond. If I remember right, the game is about 50 gigabytes, but Steam, if you're do doing it through Steam, Steam sometimes requires that you have more space than the game actually takes up. So I'm not sure I have an actual an Oh, maybe I do have an actual answer for you. Hang on. So, Teresa. Disc check error? Disc write error fix guide? I feel like I just wrote about this not too long ago. Ah, here we go. Steam, if you're trying to download it through Steam, you want about 150 gigabytes available at minimum available. Even though the game itself is only like, whatever, 50 gigabytes. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Let me know, group. If you're downloading it through Sotor.com, I have no idea. I don't. I couldn't even take a guess at what it wants or needs. Oh no! I don't have heroic moment anymore. But there's less enemies, so maybe I'll be more okay. Destroy! Oh man, I'm doing so little damage because this is uh there are higher higher level enemies. They're kinda of meant for to be done with two people or more be more geared up. Ah, Nether Butter confirms that in general it's 50 gigabytes. Great. Dr. Whalius says nice shades. Thank you, Whalix. I'm trying them out uh, to see if they help with eye strain for my headaches. I don't think they're helping with the headaches, but they do seem to help with the glare, which I like. Would you like someone to join? No, I'm kicking its butt. I'm, I am just kind of curious uh, on, on to seeing if I can solo them. So it looks like this one I can. Uh, maybe the downstairs room I have to do it in two goes, but that's fine. That's acceptable. I don't think I could do the heroic four alone, so I would just skip it. I honestly skip that one on my main character too, I think, because it's just long and if you die, you have to start over from the beginning where the waves of enemies are coming. Oh, Silky says I do this one daily. Is there any specific reason, Silky? Are you working on the achievements or do you just like the reward or reach the security something or other? Oh, this is neat. I'm not sure I've done this one before. <gasps> Oh, 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 I see, interesting. Reach the security outpost. I a, I, there's a droid that shows up, isn't there? Maybe I have run this before. Yeah, the Herrick 4 is the one that I was having trouble with earlier and just got nuked into the ground. 
Glyph says Eric is father. <laughs> is, is that like saying like <laughs> I don't think I've heard that saying before, but I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have to kite this bad boy but what if I'm what if I am root what if I am root what if he pushes me around why are you so rude did you kill my companion yet oh my god he keeps sending me you're gonna get a heroic moment no 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 <laughs> take that you droid Oh, I see. He's destroying the fuel cells and making it worse for me. Understood. No! I want to move! I wonder if I can cleanse myself of that. Second question, I wonder if I have a cleanse. Doesn't your pain count? Go on, who? I like how Eric Dorgan is just standing directly in the AoEs. Love it. Amazing. Perfect. Best buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freedom! Oh. Oh, there is a triangle on the ground when it's happening, but you can't see it on the grating. Oh, man. Graphic design is my passion! What's your favorite classes, Groot? I really like the Imperial Agent story, but the one I normally play is I normally play Trooper Vanguard. Uh, right now I'm just checking out this random Sith warrior I have and leveling her up to 80. Did that do the trick? Was that the whole quest? Am I, did, I, did I complete it? Yeah, I did. There is one more heroic, but I like didn't pick it up or something along the way. I'm not entirely... Looks like I don't even have that quick travel unlocked. So I'm gonna head here. And then maybe I can taxi to this proper location. Let's see if there's a heroic there. Or otherwise I'll just travel around till I can <laughs> till I can find it. I know there's three. I know there's a heroic two and a heroic four. I don't see a quest here. What about a quest over a lot? Actually, what is that quick travel point that I'm missing? Oh, there's a weird one up here. Dead forest that I don't think has a taxi to. At your service, my lord. Oh, weird. Oh, the other one's the Jedi one. Yeah. Yeah, Jedi library. Yeah, there we go. Jedi temple. That's the one. Yes, yes, yes. Where it says, okay, thanks. I had it through Sotor.com, but I'll probably just get a newer computer because mine is pretty old now. But good news is I had my security key active, so I'm racking up coins for now. <gasps> That's awesome, Groot. That's, oh my goodness. If you haven't played in a long time, you're going to have a big old pile. I think you can even see those on Sotor.com when you log into your account. That'll be, that'll be nice when you, when you eventually get there. But yeah, if you don't even have 50 gigabyte on your computer, you're definitely you're definitely running an older computer if you don't have like other games also installed. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I ran off the platform. Let's see, are you are you heroic, man? Yes, you are. Yeah, sure. Are. Can I quick travel there faster? Or does it just put me here? Sadly, this character is not a stealther. Not that you can skip through too, too much here. Oh, I thought there was an enemy to fight here. Oh, this is the Imperial version, so is it technically different? What do I need to do here? Consume the light. Defeat Jedi Masters. 
But can I... Do I have a little sneaky sneak on this Juggernaut character? I have trouble remembering who's what. <laughs> so if I'm playing on a Vengeance Juggernaut... No, it's the Marauder that has the little sneaky sneak. But maybe I can, like, I go like this? Yeah! Oh, nice. Okay, cool. We can get through that first group there. Ah, gotcha. Groot's saying it's just a, it's a computer that got me through college. And even after clearing it out, it's full. Yeah, good luck. Good luck saving up for a, for a nicer computer for sure. These days, I would honestly recommend getting a console for gaming, but unfortunately, so for itself and, and some other MMOs, you can't play it on a console. But Mr. Sotriso was a while ago looking to upgrade his computer and he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get a Xbox or PS5 instead. Makes more sense money-wise. Use that enraged defense for staying alive? Oh, that is a good defensive. But if I use my defensives, then I can't scream at Eric Jorgen to protect me. And that he's doing a bad job. Okay, let's see. Can we skip those guys? Yeah, I don't think we need to fight those guys. We just need to fight masters, it said. Can I... Can I, like, inch my way around here? I think so. Huh. Big jump! Hurt. Yeah! And here's... Oh, nice, nice, nice. That's awesome. I was expecting Dad to fight everything. Oh, you have an Xbox. Yeah, so it's only on the PC, exactly. Eric Jorgen, why are you fighting everybody back here? What are you doing, silly kitty cat? Oh, nice, but you can play KOTOR. Yeah, you can. <laughs> on the Xbox. It's probably pretty inexpensive if you haven't uh, already purchased it. Sweet. It looks like I'm getting uh, close to the end of this quest, and when I finish it up, I'm going to finish stream. So if you guys have any questions or comments, you might want to get them into the chat now before I'm done. Um, big important comment for me, though. Tomorrow will be the uh, birthday bash event. So if you want to join us, visit sotorista.com slash events. There's three different events going on. The stream will be running for about four hours. And I'm Jackie, who is Eve from the Sotor community team, was even super nice and sent us a bunch of codes to give away too. Oh, Silent, I need to send you the codes to give away. <laughs> should probably do that today. Um, and so very excited. We're going to be doing starting at 8 a.m. Pacific. So in your own time zone, that would be about two hours before now, give or take. Um, tons of stuff to give away. Silent has volunteered to help give them in the stream. So even if you can't attend in person, like if you're at work, you'll still be able to win a ton of stuff or enter to win a bunch of stuff. Um, and if you're in game, there's some stuff you can join, including a Sith fashion show, a spa day event with a really cool prize. Just lots of, lots of neat stuff all around. Zach's volunteering as well. He's going to help teleport us to a secret spa day location. Yeehaw. Sith side, you have to kill the duelist first. <gasps> yeah, it's weird. It is, it's different. You're, you're killing Jedi Padawans here. Oh, can I skip through these guys if I'm careful? If I'm sneaky enough? I go behind you. <gasps> sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I'm a so good sneak. Uh, I'm not going to be able to skip here, am I? Nope, 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 nope. Good try, good try, good try. Bad try. Secret spot of location is the Copero murder puddle. Murder puddle? Listen, just because murder often happens on my birthday doesn't mean it was going to happen today. Okay? Listen. I'll find something to murder y'all in. Gotcha. <laughs> Spot 8 location is the lava of Kesson's Landing. <laughs> ah! Could you even send out a summon while you are actively dying in a volcano? Could you? If you can, I need to investigate this possibility. Let's see, yeah, here's the final one. Nice. Final master, and then I can go kill that boss. 
yeah, lots of, lots of stuff for you to go join tomorrow, so I'm looking forward to it. You guys cross your fingers that I sleep proper tonight. I sure hope so. What I really wanted to do is, you know the, yeah, the Copero pedals, the ones um, in the flashpoint? I was hoping I could put you guys in one of those, but fortunately you can't summon an ops group to, uh, <laughs> to a flashpoint. Okay, we'll use Mr. Redman now. Thank you, crossing all the fingers. Thank you. Stronghold murder puddle. Wait, what are you talking about, Phantom? What murder puddle are you referring to? I don't think you can summon while moving. I could be wrong, though. What's the stronghold murder puddle, Precious? There's a hot spring in the stronghold that just kills you. Wait, really? No way! I thought I I went and jumped into all of them because I was excited to see if they did the same thing as the Flashpoint, but none of them did. Wait a sec, we're gonna... We need to do that before we end stream. I need to kill this Jedi first. Just hurry up, lady. Look, pop heroic moment. I kick! <laughs> gotcha. That's right, you can't do any mechanics if I'm murdering you. Let's see, do I have any other stuns? I do, here's another one. You underestimated my power! Here, have another stun. <laughs> I think she has some more mechanics that are supposed to kick in, but I'm not sure if, if we skipped them or what happened. On the Republic side, the enemy that you fight has a whole bunch of mechanics where you have to run around out of the way and stuff. <laughs> so you can definitely do the two heroic twos alone, even if you're not a super skilled player or well geared or anything like that. Nice. Especially because they're level 70, so I don't think you have to be well geared at all. Okay, but I need to find the murder puddle. Phantom, you need to give me some, some deets here. We need some deets. Sid says, hey, I just want to come by and say thanks for all the guides and data you collected over the years for the community. Hey, Sid, thank you so much for stopping by on YouTube. Appreciate it. Hi, live. <laughs> little, little turtle says hi, too. Okay, listen, look. Of the puddles that I know of, of the puddles that I know of, there's this one that did not kill you. This one did not kill you. Let's see, Let's see what others we can get to. This is just a nice little puddle with nothing bad. It's not, it doesn't look like a murder puddle, but uh, I don't know how much I'll, else I'll be able to get to. Guess I'll find out, huh? I think I might have these rooms locked on this server. Do I have to go on a different server to find a murder puddle? Phantom, you better not be lying to me about murder puddle time. Oh, I can't even freaking... <laughs> I can't get in there. Oh, man, hang on. <laughs> Do this sneak onto the roof of the still locked area. Far enough up the track to at least get here. Galactic Seasons. Verse 42. No, not yet. Oh man, okay, I gotta go to a different server. Different server. Different server. <gasps> or I could just go into. You know what? I wonder if anyone has a fully decorated Copero stronghold on the Starforge server. Or a fully unlocked. Oh, Phantom. Are you talking about the one that, that kills you in an exhaustion zone? I think I know what you're talking about. There's a whole section that kills you. It's not necessarily a hot spring. It's like a whole... I 
think it's like this area right here. Whoop. I think it's this one right here that kills you, which is really frustrating. I was hoping, I was hoping, and I was all excited because I thought you meant, I thought you meant one of these little ones would steam you to death. I was really hoping you would get like barbecued like the ones in the, the Copero flash flame. All right, here's a good time to end the stream. After we talk about steamy barbecue, don't forget tomorrow is the birthday event. Super excited for it. Got lots of fun little stuff planned. Got a whole bunch of stuff to give away from Jackie. Um, looking forward to showing off the project. That's the, the part I'm most excited about, I think. Darn it. Hang on, I'm trying to find the Sotor Twitch Sotor directory. It's giving me a lot of grief, though. Star Wars. The Old Republic. Okay, cool. For those of you over on YouTube, this stream will just simply be ending. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, we're going to go see Odie. Odie and 7 Very friendly player. Okay, bye guys. Have a great day. See ya. Have a good one. Nice to hang out with you as always. Bye! See ya!